in the early 2000s when they started the shop, the idea was to create a space for art and spoken word events. So it's been in the architecture of the establishment since the very beginning. Designated Spaces is an open mic event for poetry, spoken word, and anything else someone would want to share. The event occurs every Tuesday night from 9 to 11 p.m. at Donkey Coffee, which is located on 17 West Washington Street. So Designated Space provides the community uh, an open forum for creative expression. There's no sign up, there's no formal training required. You can come as a poet, as a speaker, as a, someone trying to get something off your chest, and it is vibrant and alive. People support you no matter what you, you project into the room. And as far as literature and, and creative writing in town, like having a forum where there's that much freedom to, to explore, to experiment and make mistakes, I think is absolutely, absolutely necessary. Dave Davey is the art director at Donkey Coffee. He is also a part-time recreational teacher and also teaches at the University College. Davey is the supervisor of Designated Spaces and its student hosts, Riley Reese and Kate Maurer. I feel like it is about poetry without pressure yeah. and like performance without pressure mm -hmm. um, because there is so much freedom in what you can go up and share and like sharing works in progress or sharing works that you aren't sure how you feel about uh, because there's just like so much support from everyone there. Yeah, I would say like a place to get your poetry off your chest. I know a lot of the times like if I can't stop thinking about something that I've written, it's a good place to just like get it out. I really had to pee and one of the guys was asleep right in front of the door. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't open it without waking no. him up. And so I was just sitting there for the longest time being like, should I? And I was asked by the owners to take on the position of art director. So it's been a lot of fun being plugged into the community, the art scene, the culture that this place helps foster. So I got involved just because they asked me. And once I started, it was, you know, something that brought the most joy to my life that I've had in town for a while. It's just beautiful. Like because we're in a college town, there are only so many outlets to have art and literature like outside of the class. So many people that come here and work through things, uh, which I feel like is so nice. Especially now that we're hosting, and I get to feel like like I'm helping to facilitate that. It's wonderful to just see again the vulnerability, the honesty on stage. It's so refreshing. Something that is just organic and alive coming to you as an audience member, I mean, it's just one of the biggest rushes because you don't know what's going to happen. You have no idea. So it's a beautiful thing. Along with designated spaces, Donkey hosts an open mic night geared toward music on Thursdays and stage events on Fridays and Saturdays. So as far as events, check, check with the Donkey Instagram. We keep that really updated. And there's always something going on, you know, on the weekends here. So don't miss those opportunities too.